Hi guys, hello and welcome to another C++ programming tutorial. In this tutorial, we will be solving the following problem that we have to generate a random number within the range of 7 to 12 inclusive. I've already shared with you another example in the past how to generate a random number within the range. Therefore, on line number 13, I'm sharing the formula with you again. How many numbers included in the range? If the range is between 149 and 100 inclusive, then you have to write 149, the highest minus the lowest plus 1, and outside you write the plus lowest number in the range and that's how you can generate a random number so I'm using a time srand time uh, because this would allow me to generate a random number every time otherwise I'll be locked into one random number that's how C++ is so anyway after I generate that random number in R what I need to do is after that I need to generate the solution with a for loop that needs to run for r times that means whatever that random number is within the range of 7 through 12 inclusive the loop has to run for that many times that's why i'm starting at 1 and i'm stopping at r less than equals to r okay now what am i supposed to do every time the loop runs i'm ex to supposed to enter a number from user within the range of negative 100 to positive 100 and also, if the user does not supply with the correct answer, I need to ask the user again. That's why I have this input in a do while loop. So it's a nested loop. Outside I have a for loop, inside I have a do while loop. So enter a number within this range, accept the number. If the number is less than 100 or the number is greater than 100, it will go back and ask for the input again. If it's a valid number, it will gonna come down here and it will going to add the number to the sum so this is where I am calculating what we call running total and then we are going back in the loop and then we are repeating the process till the R is reached once this loop ends we will now compute the average by dividing the sum by the total number of numbers that were accepted by the user uh, from the user and then we display the average this program can also be done in, I mean, like the outside loop doesn't have to be for loop. It could be a while loop. It could be a do while loop. The only difference will be that you will going to write your while statement here. Uh, the rest of the program logic will be exactly the same. If you were to do it with do while, you'll just put a do here and you're going to push the while condition at the bottom. So the outside loop could be anything, for, while, do while. I just did it with for, and you can easily transform it to any of the other loops. Now let me run it so that you could see uh, that it is working. Uh, so let me enter numbers like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, se uh, 6, 7, okay? So now if we add these numbers together, so I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 numbers. So 3 plus 3, 6 plus 4, 10 plus 5, 15. 15 plus 6, 21 plus 6, 27 plus 7 is 34. 34 divided by 8, since I'm using... Um, uh, numbers here I like integers here it comes out of 4 instead of 4 point something I could uh, you know declare my sum to be double and that way I could then have a, a decimal value it's totally up to you if you have that kind of a requirement then change the data type of sum to double and then you will have the answer in decimal hope you would have enjoyed this tutorial uh, let me know if you have any other questions catch you in the next one take care bye bye